We had once a very bright uh, boy in Beit Sahur, just you know, next next to the camp, uh, who also st started late, like 12 years, 13 years, I think started cello. I was sending him the teacher from Jerusalem, she was a Belgian teacher, for a whole day only for him, because he was so talented. He's now living in the States. He studied in Berkeley. Oh, oh wow. He got scholarship because he was so good. Wow, amazing. Bravo. And he's Great. now, you know, playing around, doing Arabic, classical, contemporary, and all that jazz. There are many success stories. One particu particular story um, of a boy who worked in, uh, in a garage in changing tires. And, uh, and when we started this, uh, when we brought, started the school and we brought this teacher, Muhammad Fadl, who I was talking to you about doing the outreach programs, uh, I told him, why don't you come and you know join the conservatory? He was probably 13, 14 at that time and already working in this uh, garage. And uh, probably was a bit older, maybe 15 when he came. And he started learning the double bass, uh, fully subsidized, of course, with the instrument and the fees and so on. And he was a very talented uh, young man or a boy. And he continued with the conservatory. And then we, we, we got a scholarship from the French to send students to France to continue their studies. So we selected him, he was one of the people who we selected. And so he went to France, to André, and continued his studies on double bass. And we, he also, after the scholarship ended, we supported him. We gave him a loan to continue also on an, upper, on an advanced level. And then he came back and became a teacher here. You have a lot of those <laughs> success stories, people who were imprisoned in the first uprising, you know, in the early 90s. So when we opened the school, they had just come out of prison. They were in, in the conservatory. They became musicians and they, they now lead a musical life.